Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City. In today's video, we'll discuss why and how to create your own sig fig. A sig fig is a signature figure or signature minifig. It is basically a Lego representation of yourself. Or you can consider it an avatar in a Lego city that represents you. Several Bricktubers have discussed how to create your own sig fig, but I think I've got some additional thoughts on the subject. So here we go. Most people look for a mini fig or a sig fig that looks like them. And that makes perfect sense. That's what I did as well. So you can look for different parts or different torso pieces, head pieces, hair pieces. Basically, you want to assemble a sig fig that represents you, your personality, your physical appearance, and also the clothes that you might wear. So that's one school of thought. You can also do the complete opposite and create a sig fig that doesn't even look like you. There's no hard rule that says that a sig fig must look like you. You can have it whatever you want it to be. It's an avatar, a representation of you in the Lego world or a Lego city. Just like in games, you might find an avatar that doesn't even look like you, but still represents you well in the game. Generally, it might represent some characteristics that you would like to portray or that you might like to have. But basically, it's whatever you want and something that you can identify with and eventually everyone identifies with you. So feel free to put together your own sick fig with different parts. It can be comical, it can be funny, it can be mysterious, it can be in costume, it's entirely up to you. I would say this though, it does depend on your LEGO city. If your LEGO city is a superhero city, it makes sense for your sick fig to have superhero powers. But like my city, which is seeded in reality, it generally has to be a realistic looking sick fig, unless of course you are deliberately in costume and maybe part of a fancy dress party. But I don't judge, you really can have any sick fig that you want. For the creation of the actual sick fig, there are two schools of thoughts. One school of thought is that you should use readily available parts to put your sick fig together. So you want to do this because it's more affordable, you can find the parts easier, and if you want to sell or give your sick fig to friends or to insert into other people's Lego cities, you can even buy them in bulk or other people might be able to put them together because the parts are easily found anywhere in the world. So there's an advantage to that because it is affordable, it is practical. And you still could come up with kind of a unique sig fig, especially if you take different parts and put them together. The other line of thought is that you should put together a sig fig that is completely unique and one of a kind. So you should find rare parts or retired parts, hard to find parts to put together your sig fig so that it's very unlikely that anyone else in the world could put together a similar sig fig. Now I can identify with that and let me tell you how I put together my sig fig. When I created my sig fig, I thought about what my sig fig would be doing in my Lego city. And as you probably know by now, it is really a representation of myself and my sig fig is also a performing illusionist in my Lego city. So I went together putting the parts of my sig fig together based on my promo shot or publicity shot, which is the costume I would wear on stage as an illusionist. This is my promo shot and based on this, I went to find different Lego minifig parts to recreate this look. It was pretty difficult. That torso piece was really hard to find. I could find only two sellers on Bricklink who would sell it and I found it and it cost quite a bit because it's quite a rare piece and then I had to have it shipped over. That bottom piece was also pretty hard to find. It was to replicate my grey jeans as well as my boots. The great thing is that there's also a belt chain on the side and that's something I do wear during performance as well, not just in the shot. I subsequently built a chainsaw to complete the look. As you can see, my sig fig is a pretty close visual representation of me in real person, except for the hair because I didn't have this streak at that time, but it's close enough. And it's also really unique. It's very unlikely that anyone is going to put this combination together to create this sig fig. So I have a one-of-a-kind sig fig that represents what I do and who I am. After a while, I did think to myself that it's not really practical for my sig fig to always be in performance costume. After all, I'm not always performing on stage and my sig fig is the same. In fact, most of the time, we're off stage. So I figured he should be in regular clothes. So I put together this sig fig right over here and let me break it down. This is what I call my alternate sig fig or my everyday sig fig, which is basically me out of costume. 
I did, however, still try to make this a one-of-a-kind sick fig by putting different parts together. In fact, I went quite extreme, inspired by a post I saw on Reddit, and every single part comes from a different LEGO minifig. The head and hair piece is the same as my original sick fig. The torso piece comes from a city set that's pretty, I think, easy to find. It's a hoodie. But I did change the arms for the minifig. The original torso piece comes with long sleeves. I'm using the arms that came from the Yuppie minifig from the Collector Minifigs Series 17. This makes the torso piece a bit more unique and also represents me more in real life since my hoodies are all short sleeves. The belt piece comes from a separate minifig from the legs. I actually separated the belt piece from the legs just to get that belt and I put on regular black legs. The result is that I get a minifig that is very unique but at the same time it uses parts that are quite easily found. So what do you think a sick fig should be like? Now there's no right or wrong answer, at least there's no right or wrong to me. It is entirely up to you and no one should tell you otherwise. But I'd like to hear your thoughts. Do you think a sick fig should look like yourself or can it be anything you want it to be? And do you think a sick fig should be completely unique using parts that you can find anywhere or should they use rare parts and retired parts so that it's really one of a kind in the world and you probably can't easily put it together? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and better yet, show me a video or a photo link of your sick fig. Related to the topic of sick figs, subscriber Darius Dojo suggested that I take subscribers' mini figs or sick figs and place them into my LEGO city in a location of their choosing. I think that's a great suggestion and actually several people have reached out to me privately to have their sick figs in my LEGO city. In fact, I'm looking forward to Brick Trucker's Nick sick fig. His is on the way and I can't wait to place it in my city. So this is what I can do for you if you're a subscriber. If you like your sick fig to be placed in my LEGO city, show me a photograph of your sick fig. If it is made out of regular parts or easy to find parts, I might have those parts because I've got quite a few sick figs or mini figs. So I'll put it together, recreate your sick fig and place it into my LEGO city. If your sick fig is made of you know, very unique parts or hard to find parts and I just don't have the parts, then you'd have to send it to me unfortunately. Now this is not me soliciting minifix to be placed in my city. This is purely if you want your sick fig to be placed in my city. Uh, I'm not asking for you to do this. It's if you want to do it and only if I don't have the parts for your sick fig. But I think this will be a fun exercise and project. So, you know, you can leave it in the comments or send me a message. You can send me an email as well. My email is build at smallbrickcity.com. So you can send me an email and send me a photo of your sick fig and we'll try to get it done. I hope you enjoyed this video and this discussion on sick figs. If you like this video or any of my content, do me a small favor. Head over to my profile page, look under discussion and leave a public comment. By leaving a comment, it tells other people that this channel is worth subscribing to and I'll really appreciate that. So just hit my profile pic, get to my channel page, look for the discussion tab and leave a comment. Thank you so much in advance and it will really mean a lot to the channel and I know it will help the channel grow even further. Thanks so much for watching and please give this video a like and if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. And before you go, check out these two videos that you might have missed. Talk to you soon.